Hello and welcome to the microlearning series presented by the Refugee Health Program at the Minnesota Department of Health. This series is meant to help providers, clinical teams, and public health better understand best practices for refugee health screenings. This video focuses on HIV screening guidance during refugee health assessment. Universal screening should be considered, and at a minimum, all arrivals ages 13 to 64 or pregnant regardless of age should be screened for HIV. Those 12 and under should be screened for HIV unless there is a documented negative status for the mother of the child and there are no other risk factors. Screening should include laboratory HIV antibody antigen tests that detect HIV-1 and HIV-2 antibodies, and P24 antigen tests are recommended for screening children greater than two years of age. Virological assays that detect HIV must be used to diagnose HIV in infants and children under two years of age. If positive for HIV antibodies, test specifically for the HIV-2 antibodies for arrivals from specific countries. You can see the guidance for the full list or visit our CareRef website. HIV screening should occur during the initial refugee health assessment and repeat screening three to six months following resettlement is recommended for arrivals with a recent exposure or high risk activity, such as individuals who may be in a window period before zero conversion. This updated guidance include screening recommendations for those under two years of age, as well as for those who may be in the window period. This updated guidance also has stronger recommendations to screen those 12 and under. State guidelines do not offer from national guidelines. However, Minnesota does have specific resources for providers. As part of the paperwork for the refugee health assessment that is submitted to the refugee health program, there is a section where HIV screening results can be recorded. Please make sure this section is being filled out appropriately. Remember that all positive results must be confirmed and reporting a positive result on this reporting form is in addition to mandatory disease reporting to MDH either by phone or using HIV AIDS confidential case report forms. If you're interested in learning more, please look at the full screening guidance and other resources outlined in this page. The well-being of all Minnesotans, including those with refugee status, depends on the work and dedication of our partners. Thank you so much for your work.